here we are with uh, veteran heavyweight Monty Two Guns Barrett and Shaniqua, his significant other. How are you, both of you? We're good, we're good. We're good. Everything's good. good. Everything's good. So, uh, Monty, um, everyone wants to know what's going on with you. It's been a while since we've uh, seen you. Um, what's the news? What's the news is, you know, I'm training. I'm making a transition and I'm training fighters and things like that. But I would like to fight one more time. So we have a couple of fighters out there that I mentioned. Brian Jennings, uh, David Price, uh, Ollie Harris, um, you know, um, it's just uh, Adamac. A few guys that, I, that I'm interested in the fight because I know that would be a good fight for me. And I'm just looking for one more fight and just uh, call it, you know, call it a day. So um, I know that you've been doing a lot of different things. Uh, you're doing, I think that you're training, you're a trainer now, I believe, at um, Star City Boxing, right? That's correct. I'm, I'm training at Star City Boxing. I'm training at LA Boxing. So I'm just, you know, I'm hustling, I'm grinding. You know, one thing about the boxing business is a hustle is a grind, so you got to be on point. Yeah. So I'm very busy. So uh, you look, it looks like you're in relatively good shape right now. Like you could get back in the ring in about a month or two. Um, have you had any conversations with any of these fighters that you want to face? Yeah, I, I talked to Brian Jennings outside, so hopefully we'll probably make that deal. I spoke to his uh, his uh, manager the other day, and we see what happens. I'm just right now. I'm trying to you know find my way around, see what's going on. But you know, I'm still I'm still in shape. I love I love the sport of boxing, and I'm I'm waiting to see what happens. Uh, how do you think that fight would go with uh, someone like uh, Brian Jennings? I think it'd be a hell of a fight. I don't know how it's gonna go. I know from 110 percent. I know it's going to go in my favor, so, you know, I'm just looking for opportunity to prove myself once again. You also mentioned uh, Tomas Adamek. Uh, Adamek's a guy who's, he's had some inconsistencies in the ring of late. Um, I, th I personally think that would be a pretty good matchup for both of your careers. I would too, because I'm inconsistent with my career. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. Like, I mean, being honest, so I think that would be a great, a great opportunity for him and me. It's a crossroads fight, yeah. so. I think that would be a great fight. I always want to fight Adamac because I have respect. The guys I name, I don't have no no you know, hidden agendas or beef with them. I respect those guys a lot, and I would love to uh, fight them. And uh, of course, you also mentioned David Price, a man who has a uh, I wouldn't say it's inconsistencies because he was he was going very well and then just dipped out of nowhere. He had that one loss to Tony Thompson. Um, tell me about him. How do you think he's going to recover from that? And um, tell me why uh, you think a fight with him would be good. Well, I like, I mean, at, at this point, I wanted to fight him before then, but I don't know if his handlers will put him in. I don't know, you know, I, I got stopped. My last fight, I wasn't in the great, the greatest space physically or mentally, yeah. but that's life, you know, you, you, you know, you live and learn. So I would think that the David Price fight would be a good, um, a good shot for me and him both, because it's almost, it's a crossroads fight for him, because he just coming off a loss. He has all this hype and all this, all this backing. So now let's see if he's, if he's really made out of steel like they say he is. And for me, it's to see, listen, can Monte Barrett still do it? Can he, can he uh, you know, bring, bring, another, bring another upset again?